All right, so not too long ago, Gabe from uh, Drum Beats Online and I put out a few videos. There's a video on my channel called Big Kick vs. Little Kick where I play on my small 16-inch kick and he plays on his big old 26-inch. So that's on my channel if you want to see it. And then on his channel, we did a video called Big Symbols vs. Little Symbols. And uh, I got the little symbols, as you can see. So I have a feeling a lot of people are going to ask about what symbols I'm using. So before I break all this stuff down, I figured I'd make this video. Alright, so I'm going to go right to left for all you uh, Arabic viewers out there. But on my very right, I have an 8-inch A Custom Splash. It's not really my favorite splash, but you know, it's a splash, so it works. And then the stack is a combination of a cheap 12-inch hi-hat symbol that I got for free. It's the one I spray-painted the K logo on. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest you watch it. But actually, the, uh, the hole for it was too small, so I had to drill it out. And then on top, I have a, uh, an 8-inch Avita splash, just a regular A. But as you can see, it cracked. This is actually a really nice splash. It was my favorite splash. But it cracked, so it's kind of dead and dull sounding now, so it doesn't sound too good as a splash. But, as a stack, it works fine. Oh, and then also, I had a little kibasa ring on top for some extra sizzliness, so that's the stack. And then, next to the stack, I have a zill bell. This is the big one. I believe it's nine and a half inches. But uh, I rarely use this, and I absolutely hate the sound of it, but I was at Guitar Center one day, many years ago, and this, they were selling it used for like 50 bucks, so I was like, sure, why not? Uh, but this thing rings like crazy, so you can see I put some like foam tape on the bottom of it, just to cut down a bit. Uh, so that's one of the bells. And then next to that, I have a 6-inch Hammer X Nice Bell. Uh, I believe this is like a prototype symbol because uh, Lance Campo was saying that Hammer X was selling off a bunch of their prototypes. I can't get that off. <laughs> so I checked it out and I bought this. It was pretty cheap. But like I said, it's a Hammer X 6-inch Nice Bell. And then below that, I have my homemade Ribbon Crasher. I have a video on me making this. Uh, one thing I want to do is replace the ribbons with some thicker steel because this was just old recycled steel that I you know, had lying around. Uh, but I mean, it sounds fine, but I definitely want to replace those in the future. And then over here on the, uh, the homemade X hat mount, uh, I ran out of cymbal stain, so I had to use that. I have this six inch uh, factory metal percussion cross thing. I don't know what it's called, but basically what it is, is uh, two pieces of steel, some jingles, and uh, that's about it. But the way this is supposed to work is the crosses are supposed to like line up. So you can see here, they're like offset. And I took it apart and did this just because I found myself hitting in between the crosses and like missing it. So I set it up like this. And then also these come painted black. So uh, I burned off the paint so I got a more natural look. And uh, I mean, sure, it might sound different, but I think it looks better like this. So that's why it's not black. And then the other splash is a Sabian B8. This is also an eight inch splash. Uh, this actually isn't mine. I borrowed it from a friend because I wanted to use two splashes on this. So I have the A custom there, which is lower pitched, and then the B8 over there. And actually, I like the sound of this one better than the A custom. And then the last bell I used was a Peisty 2002 6 inch accent symbol. Uh, I, I bought it used at Same Ash, it was like 20 bucks. I rarely use this at all, but again, it was a good deal, so I had to buy it. And yeah. And then for the hi hats, the top is a, a 10 inch Avitas Fast Splash. Uh, this is actually one of the first symbols I bought. I've had this since like middle school. Uh, so that's the top of the hi-hats. And then the bottom is a 10 inch symbol. It's not a splash. It's like a cheap symbol that comes on like a Walmart drum set as like a ride symbol. 
Uh, but my buddy gave it to me for free because he had no use for it. So I've had it, you know, lying around. I rarely use it. It's really trashy sounding. So that's the bottom of the hi-hat setup. Oh, and then I almost forgot, I was going to use this bell. Uh, this is actually a 6-inch bell that Zildjian made. They made like 10 of them, and they never, you know, manufactured them. So there's only 10 of these out there. Uh, it's a 6-inch bell. I think I said that already. Uh, but let's see how it sounds. Alright, so I actually lied. This is not a prototype Zildjian bell. This is actually a candle holder that I cut up. So if you want a cheap bell that doesn't sound too good, go to Goodwill, find a uh, candle holder, uh, cut it up, modify it, and you got a little bell. So yeah, that's the symbol setup I used on the video that Gabe and I made. It's over on his channel, so be sure to check it out. Also be sure to check out the Big Kick vs. Little Kick video that's on my channel. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. But uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.